smoke you could see for miles and seven firefighters hurt. Conditions were so dangerous fighting a fire in the Bronx that crews had to scale back. CBS 2's Naveen Dhaliwal has a story from Unionport. The fire was fierce and it was fast, leaving behind extensive damage to two buildings and some businesses here on Castle Hill Avenue. And those who lived here are just baffled as to how quickly it spread. Broken windows and charred buildings are what's left tonight after a raging fire ripped through them. So many screams are coming from outside and we are smelling like burning. Mohammed Makbal was inside his apartment when he sensed the danger. We just came out and we saw the first building was burned already. Fire officials say the blaze began at the 1103 address and quickly spread to the corner building owned by Dion Karen. He was cleaning the backyard when he heard a boom. When I ran out, I saw a ball of fire about 25 feet up in the air. As the fire roared, more than 140 firefighters battled the heat from the fire and the hot weather, but the flames were relentless. 1101, which is the corner building, uh, the roof started to sag, we had a partial collapse, and we withdrew units and our personnel off the roof. Leaving apartments burned, tenants hopeless, including Rahim Uden, who moved here from Bangladesh just six months ago. Documents all of the inside, passport, and then, I mean, money, all of them inside, so our feelings are not good. In the end, seven firefighters and one person were hospitalized, and Curran, who tried to comprehend what happened? I know I have a big loss, but I feel glad to know that the people are safe. And I also the people from the other building. Officials say the firefighters are being treated for smoke inhalation and heat exhaustion, but they say no life threatening injuries are being reported as a result of this fire. In Unionport, Naveen Dhaliwal, CBS 2 News.